Hey guys, as, as usual, we're just making sure we have a commercial so that we know we're live. That makes me feel like I have hot hands because I remember your first oh, phone when, that was like heat sensitive when it was touch screen. Yeah, it just went live. It was really fast this time. Mm -hmm. um, okay, we're good. Okay. Hey friends, happy Wednesday Friends Day. I'm so happy to have you here with me in my studio. And also here with me today is Emily. Hello. We're going to paint. A, that was a, awkward, but not as bad. It was, it was, slow, it was smooth, eh? <laughs> um, it's not what I thought I was going to say. I really should just have a cue card <laughs> and read it. <laughs> We're going to paint this fun tree ornament. It's also a simple landscape. There's a little red cardinal you can probably yeah, see right there. It looks like a little speckle. It's on a four by four inch canvas. Uh, we'll go through that in a second. I linked how to wire the ornaments in this video's description. And then the traceable is already on my website. This is the one we're painting, annietro.com. And if you've been with us before, you know we're going to fly over my head to my art table and get started. Okay. I make it sound like we fly far. It probably looks further in the video than it actually is. You know? Mm-hmm. Once you uh, get okay? that in there, you're a little tangled in your Am cord. I a little tangled? Okay. I don't want to like shut off my phone. I know. Oh, you gave me new tape. There's two tapes. Yay. That's thoughtful of you. Hmm. There, is that a little better? Oh, that scooted it. Boop. Sorry guys, we're gonna okay. wiggle some today. Oh, I just saw somebody. Hey, Bonita. <laughs> <laughs> I happened to be looking at the top of my phone so I could see that. Okay, so untangle me. We need action cam, I've said that before. Okay. Oh, I still have a commercial in mine. I'm gonna skip the commercial. All right, so this is a four inch by four inch canvas panel from US Art Supply. I used, oh, I don't have my traceable. I know it's, it's like right here. So I reused the traceables several times and all I did was trace on the background because I don't really need it for the tree. But you could do the way I'm doing it now, paint the background, let it dry, and then put the traceable back on it and trace. You might need to scribble on the back of it again with some chalk pastel or whatever you're using and then put the tree on it if you want to do that. Hopefully that made sense. If it didn't, just ask. And I've got tree ornament on the top of my, my very high-tech styrofoam plate palette. I like these because they fit on camera and... They're inexpensive. Okay, kind of scooching. The colors are Thalo Blue Green Shade. Um, oh, Neutral Gray 5 is the gray. And then I mixed a lot of Neutral Gray 5 and just a pinch of Thalo Blue to get that sort of blue gray color. Titanium White, where's my white? Titanium white. And then I'm going to add Hooker's green for the tree. You could paint the whole painting with these colors or even add a little black if you want to go darker. But eventually I'm going to add some Hooker's green. So my background was is this color or these colors. And then you can see that there's some, hopefully you can see in the video there's greens in the tree. Oh, and I'm going to need some cad red. Oh yeah, for the little. Yeah, for the birds. So we'll get out some cad red medium. I thought I was all, I always think I'm all prepared. There's something every week. Okay, is there anything else? I don't think there's anything else. I'm gonna start using my kneaded eraser. Oh, our, our, our light source is coming from over here. And I'm gonna lighten this up with a kneaded eraser, sort of like Silly Putty before I start painting. I'm done setting a table in. Okay. I didn't know if you needed to know or... That was fast. Usually I expect... That was only four minutes. <laughs> oh, that's pretty slow. We only started four minutes ago. Yeah. Wait, oh. did you say slow? Oh, huh? Did you say slow? That sounds slow when you say four minutes. No, that's fast. Oh, geez. I usually make him go through more minutes than that. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, that was a fast at the table. Oh, wow. We truly have really kind people <laughs> that hang out with us. I just love it. Um, let's see, so far in the chat tonight, we have Cindy, Bonita, Tina, 
Leanne, Suzanne, and Kathy. Hey, Leanne. <laughs> I sent you a message. <laughs> I'm a little ahead of schedule today. That's always nice. All right, I think I'm going to start from the top and work down to this, this tree line, and then maybe... I'm just thinking um, work back to front here. Oops. So I could start with the bottom too. It doesn't really matter. And then this, this layer of the upright trees is kind of on top of this behind here. And I've got a little bit on top of the, the ground. You don't have, I mean, acrylics are forgiving. You don't have to. So I've got probably a 3 8 inch flat brush from Michaels. It's a craft brush, but I have no idea what the brand is. It was laying right there. That's one of the... Let me grab a little phthalo. Go ahead. One of the cheapy brushes I bought and made that bouquet so I wasn't just giving you like a Michaels gift card. Yes. That's one of the cheapy brushes that I figured you'd just throw out. Well, I have, I, I don't have too many left. That might be the last one. I'd have to go hunting because I have I have jars of new brushes and I have jars of currently using brushes and then I have brushes over on my large easel. <laughs> so I added just a pinch of phthalo just to get a little blue. And I'm doing the sweep, sweepy sky, uh, simple sky, which we painted live not too long ago. I don't know if I linked that in this video's description. I'm going to try and hold it up. If that isn't working, you guys just let Emily know and she'll tell me. Oh, I um, painted the holes. I drilled the holes. I don't know what size drill bit that is. It's not very big. And then I put a little white paint down in them. And then a little white paint on the back just to kind of seal up the hole in the paper. I can see myself painting on my phone while I'm painting. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes I don't notice that, but tonight I'm noticing that. I think that's because I've got it a little different. I move it around when I'm doing other videos. Mm -hmm. I need a little water. It's not wanting to flow. You can see the dry, how dry it is. Yeah, well, I'm also painting kind of thin. Let's try this direction. There we go. Now we're cooking with some gas. Hopefully they'll move it up a little bit so it stays. I've already sold some ornaments at the gallery. Yay. Yeah. Well, I just, I get comments every once in a while like, ornaments and snowmen are ready. I'm like, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you guys come to work with me. Just now I'm just playing. Sometimes it's kind of nice with a sky to have one corner a little lighter, one corner darker. I don't think we have any big news or anything to talk about this time, do we, Em? Um. Emily got engaged last time. I got engaged the time before that, I think. Oh, was it? Mm-hmm. I'm already off alive. Yeah, I think we're like closer to... Oh. Where did I go? <laughs> like, um... I don't know. And Chase would know the day. Oh, no. <laughs> um, mm -hmm. You don't have to get this futzy, but I just... This is how I paint. Yeah, like... We're closer to being a month engaged than we are to not. Oh. Like, uh, October 18th. Oh. I think. Well, the last live was the reindeer. Oh, no. Was it October was it? 18th? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Good thing well, you have not known him yet. since you were 17. 16. Well, you turned 17 the next month, didn't yeah. you? Yeah. There, I kind of like that. I think I'm going to stop playing with it. Plus, I'll dry faster if I don't get it too as thick as I usually do. I like to paint the edges so it looks a little nicer. All right, so then I'm going to paint the ground. The 20th. Okay, the 20th. And so I'm going to have it be lighter towards this my straight line and then darker as we go forward. I'm also saying that to remind me, so I'm going to grab some white. 
and it doesn't have to be, oh, that's really light. It doesn't have to be perfect. Grab, white, grab a little bit of my mixed color because I'm going to put a couple trees. I'm going to put a big tree over it and then a couple hints of trees. So I have, or if you celebrate Thanksgiving in the U.S., I have two weekends until Thanksgiving. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's moving fast. I feel like it is. I feel like it is too. Well, I'm coming. It's a rush mode for me. Two weeks from tomorrow, basically. Yeah. See, that doesn't. I need like how many weekends? A weekends. Yeah. You have. So I have. Oh, you have. Yeah, you have two. I thought you might have three, but yeah, you have only two. I'm going to grab a little phthalo blue just to kind of mimic the sky a little bit. And I'm going to kind of arch this part. You don't have to. Ah! Hey, Em. Yeah, do you want me to grab Oh, no, I can get it. I'll be right back, guys. I mean, I'm not really going anywhere, but I usually I usually don't drop a brush. But that's why the, the tablecloths are under the I have, table. yeah, you guys probably saw it on the flyover. I have a white and gray polka dot vinyl tablecloth under my art table and I have I think it hit my apron too I have an apron on oh you know I just have a t-shirt on I was getting I was too too loosey-goosey with the grip on the brush there so I get some you know good brush stroke <laughs> it's kind of funny I thought for a second it like went all the way under but it was right under my feet missed my shoes which is good yeah, you're not wearing your splatter paint shoes, so no. it wouldn't blend in. I've got my newer tennis shoes on. I love that blue. I love the yellow blue and the neutral gray five. It's just, it's kind of a vintage snow color. Mm -hmm. Kind of. It has a little bit of a greenish. Let's see, I'm going to want to... So I'm already thinking I'm going to want a shadow over here for my tree. You don't really have to put it in. I'm going to grab some white. And put. Well, that kind of went dark on me here, so I'm going to grab. Now, normally I would hair dry it. I could, if you need me to. I've got a Rachel Ray. Oh, okay. But I think what I'm going to do is this is damp. Oh, actually, I got to paint the gray. We we got one more section, so I'm just gonna grab some straight up neutral gray and some white, and paint the distant hill. So one thing that's nice about this, I've got um, this is similar to the the church painting with the berry trim. It's on an eight by eight, and I have um, a six by I think it's a six by eight or a five by seven church. New Church Traceable. I was going to talk about that during the commercial. Mm -hmm. um, it's posting this Friday. It's already up on my website. Same colors. And the whole and if you limit your colors, I think it can make it easier to paint. Focus more on the values. It feels like we've been streaming for an hour because it's pitch black. It's night. It's night outside. Well, the only thing I was hoping is we're. We're having, we've been having a weird fall, so it's like seven, I think it was last time it was 70 something, last mm -hmm. Wednesday, and then it drops down to cold, cool, and then I think, Emily, tomorrow it's just going to drop all day, and we're going to have highs in the 30s for like a week. Good. Well, yeah, kind of good, except for I don't <laughs> know, like, I don't think gutters are cleaned out at either house. Oh, yeah. Oh, mm -hmm. it's going to drop tomorrow? I think it's going to drop all day tomorrow. I'll day tomorrow and then stay cold after that. I'll well, be fine. And I think our sprinkler systems are still on. <laughs> yeah. We were going to get, um, I haven't mentioned to Chase that Dad offered to do the gutters because um, he mentioned this weekend we'd grab a ladder to be able to get up. Because that's the nice thing about our house. It's not like we have to scale a tall, tall roof to get into the gutters. Um to get a ladder that is more stable than oh that w rickety old wood <laughs> ladder one. and am i supposed to return that ladder I, he's talking about getting a new one because he, he hasn't used that in okay i thought it hadn't it was like the ladder that nobody was touching and yeah but sometimes he'd use it to get up on the roof on the front of the house in order to get some of the leaves and honestly if chase and i it was very stable when you held it so 
Yeah, if, if he holds it. If Chase and I just don't even buy a ladder and he just holds the ladder while I climb in to the gutters, <laughs> we could just do the gutters. Yeah. As is. So but there was something else. Oh, we need like the air filters, which I saw. I was right. Um, I was, cause didn't I tell you that I thought there was a 25 in there? It's 16, 25, one. That's our filter size. Oh, I had the wrong number. Yeah. So. <laughs> now everybody knows what your furnace filter is. <laughs> We talk about really exciting stuff here. I'm well, just kind of putting in some different values and up and down strokes. I'm all about efficiency. So I saw I saw that Target had some when I was like getting a ladder or something. Because they're in the same aisle. Oh. And so I was like, oh, that'd be so awesome if we could just get them there. Yeah. Because like, that's why I like, although I like produce at other grocery stores better, I like Target just because it's like, oh, shoot, I need a new... Whatever. Whatever. Oh, there's like a whole entire home section. Yeah. Or like, oh shoot, Chase needs socks. And now they have Ulta? Our Target That's just right. got their Ulta. That's right. So I'm, I told Chase our grocery bills are going to be nightmarish from here on out. If I'm, if I'm let loose into the little baby Ulta. <laughs> and they put in sassy lights. So it just like really lures you in like a, like a bug. <laughs> <laughs> it has like special lighting just over the Ulta spot. Oh, that's smart. Yeah. Just going up and down, varying the value a little bit. Vary the heights a little bit. Can use a little water. It's going a little slow. But basically, you have trees when you do this. I'm not too worried about. A lot of it's going to get covered up. Like this part, I could even probably go side to side. And then I don't. I'm going to grab a little white just to vary my color or value. Oop, that's too close, though, to the gray, so I'm going to go darker. Although we can let some fade in there, too. Okay, now my thumb's going to get in the way here. Mm-hmm. But I think... Are you dry anywhere else? Be, oh, I can do that, yep. So that's part of the reason why I painted it in that order, is so I could hold it. And... Isn't that fun? Up and down, up and down. I think that's so relaxing. Mm -hmm. Up and down. You know, that's what I like about painting is, once you know where you're going, or that's why I do a lot of animal portraits too, because I know I'm painting, you know, I'm focusing on the eye, the nose, the whatever. The first swirl. I think it's relaxing. Diane says, what is it? And I don't know what that is in reference to. So um, this is a simple landscape. I'll just go with what I think she means. Okay. And we'll figure it out. <laughs> um, and it's going to be a, uh, so this is basically like a mountain or a hill in the background, the sky. And right now I'm painting up and down simple tree strokes. And I painted the the ground and we're going to paint a big big fir tree with a little red cardinal on it and if that wasn't your question just ask again so i could kind of hint at a tree here too went over my horizon line there a little bit which is okay it's very my that oh. one um, asking what the Ulta is at, um, ah. Target. <laughs> I made it all about me. <laughs> That's a makeup. Well, Target's a convenience store, grocery store. Target is... Has almost everything. A little hardware, not a lot. It's kind of like... And then, oh, go ahead. I would just, if, if, um, so Diane is in Canada. So if, uh, I don't know if there's Walmarts in Canada. It's, oh, it's a lot but like it, a Walmart. It's... it's it, it's in similar to a Walmart in the sense that it has like a grocery and like home section and clothes and everything like that. But pe it's typically people would describe Target as like a nicer Walmart because there is like there, there's jokes online about the people. Kmart. Of, well, Kmart didn't have food though back in the day. Oh, uh, there's jokes online about the people of Walmart and the people like the people that sometimes you see strange people at Walmart. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so people, there's jokes that, like, you pay Target prices to not see the people of Walmart. Oh, that's not nice. No. 
<laughs> no, but it's like the, the I, oh, it was like an Instagram forever ago, and it would be, you know, somebody in their whole booties hanging out at a, at a, oh, yeah. at a Walmart. Plumber's butt. Yeah, plum, yeah, it was literally like plumber's butts hanging out, leaning over the cart, like at the checkout line. Or also just like um, the complaint that there's always just like one checkout person at Walmart. That's happened to ours. But anyway, that's such a long-winded thing. And then Ulta is like... Can I interrupt for a sec? Yes. So I'm going to... This one's dry so I can draw on it. And I lightened my sky a little bit because it, dar it dried darker than I anticipated. But you can already see I've done it a little bit differently on both of them. Okay, go ahead. And then Target... Or not Target. Ulta is like a beauty store. Like I don't... And it, um, it's makeup. competitor here. Makeup. It would be... It's competitor would be Sephora. But I also don't know if Canada has Sephora's. Um, like a beauty, makeup, retailer, hair care, all that jazz. So they've put a mini one. <laughs> oh, Diane says, yes, I have seen those Walmart videos. Hilarious. <laughs> um, and, uh, they've put like a mini one inside of Target. Okay. It's uh, here in, it's, we also have Sephora's. So like it's Sephora's competition here. She's like, enough, Em. <laughs> <laughs> so I just have a center line for my tree. Oops. I just measured. I just, I just knocked down my great big happy art hug guy. And then I think I'm, what I'm going to do is give myself a little bit of a guideline so I don't go out. Because my trees tend to get bigger. So I'm going to just kind of do the finger method. Actually, I might help myself because my talk and paint. And you could use the traceable. Just make sure this is good and dry. Well, if it's not, then the this is a charcoal pencil. Um, whatever you're using will. This will wash off right now because this is nice and dry from yesterday. Um, it just sticks into the paint. You just have to paint over it. Um, Joy Lynn gave a $4 super sticker and he's like passing a cup of coffee. Little, little pear guy. Oh, I see him. He's Hi, hey, jo Joy Lynn. Thank you. Thank you so much. And she says, hello. I had to listen only till I got in. LOL. <laughs> thank you. Yeah. I don't think, I wonder, painting probably doesn't Oops. make for a good podcast format. Like in the sense uh, of not just the way I do it, listening. Probably. Yeah. <laughs> so I put out the hooker screen. Actually, I think what I might do, though, is this blue is darker. I'm going to start with the blue and put in a couple little, well, shoot, do I want to do that? Changing my mind on the fly. I might have used black on this one, and I just don't remember. Or that could be blue that's just getting real, like a blue and a green combo. Oops, is that still in frame? I believe so. Your whole palette's in well in frame. Okay. Does that give me kind of a black? Oh, I bet you that's what that is. We'll do that. <laughs> oh, and the squeaking. The squeaking. Here, I don't need the lid. <laughs> it was doing it in a video that posted not too long ago, and it wasn't too bad. It wasn't as loud as mm, I, mm -hmm. we can hear it. Yeah, it's far enough away from the mic. Yep, I'm pretty sure that's what that color is. And it's going to dry a little darker. Okay, so I'm going to put like a little, I don't know, a little, just painting with the tip corner of my brush. And we're just going to put in and try to make it random some beginning branches. Now here I always go like, do I go up? Do I go down? Mm-hmm. Maybe we'll just kind of go straighter. Oh, I went up. Kind of do a little bowl. Um, Diane says, we had a Target here in Ontario, and we ha we were hoping to get USA stuff that we don't get in Canada stores, but that was not what happened. So people stopped going to Target, and eventually they pulled out. Oh, huh. 
I find that interesting. That's like, interesting. I've, I've heard that a lot. Like, um, Chase and I, speaking of Chase, he dropped his nine ninety nine in his little goat emoji. Chase, man. Thank you, thank you. Um, we've had a friend that's been like, I can't get this in Canada. Can you get this? And oh, send it to yeah. me, like, and then they they they've always happened to find it elsewhere or like third party because shipping would be a nightmare for us to get it to them. Well, it's expensive. But um, I find that so interesting that like I understand why it wouldn't be the same like across the ocean, just like how like McDonald's and stuff isn't the same when you go oh, to like man. Europe or even like Japan or something like that. Been to McDonald's in eight, like, it's all different. Decades, yeah. But, um, like, you're just, like, right above us. <laughs> it's just a short trek. Like, why wouldn't it? As t- you wouldn't have to select so much different stuff for that specific branch of Target if you just sent it the same, all the same stuff. Well, and as Emily has said before, it's closer than Hawaii. Yes. And I bet the Target Hawaii, the Hawaii Target has all the USA Target stuff. I don't, well, actually, I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, that was just me speaking. Getting a little speaking sassy. Speaking out, yeah. <laughs> we need a soapbox for M, too. Yeah. I'm just putting in some darks, trying to be random. Kind of finding my bottom of my tree. And if I paint over my darks, you can put them back in. Yeah, Ulta's makeup like Sephora. We decided that was the whole <laughs> whole thing. Okay. I think we can pretty much do this wet without drying. You could dry this with a hair dryer if you wanted. I'm cleaning out my brush. Because I think I'm going to go to greens now. I could gray my green down, but Hooker's green is already kind of... A muted. Muted green. It has the numbers on it, but I don't know what they mean. PG7, PBK9, PY74. It says it's opaque. That little thing means light fast one, I think is what that means. Hmm. I'll get into reading it if I don't. So I think I'm just going to do white. Actually, let me go mix a little puddle. If you just added his tree trunk in, he would be very Charlie Brown. Yeah, Christmas could, tree -y, sparse little guy. Could be done. <laughs> I think I just grabbed too much white. That's all right. Let's just see what happens here. Yeah, Hooker's green is just, I, I think it's, well, I buy lime green. I think those are the only two greens right now I've been buying for a couple years because I mix, I mix a lot of my greens. It's a good green. Like if I'm painting daisies or something. It, it's slight, to me it looks slightly blue. It, slightly. Yeah, it's a blue green to me as well. Yeah, okay. It's not a warm. No, it's definitely a cool green. Yeah. Let's just go with that. Okay, we all keep checking our real in. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, you're good, you're good. You're so plenty I'm in frame for the palette. Yeah, and it's kind of, I got kind of, I'm thinking I'm going to have red. I suppose I can do, well, it's easier for me to grab this way, but it is far away from the tree. Mm -hmm. But I've got the tree up, so hopefully it's focusing fine. All right, this might be a little dark, but we're going to go with it, and we can always lighten it up. So eventually what I'm going to do is put whites just on like three four so white 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 the white comes over here centers here so i've got a few whites over here but i don't, I don't have any over here so we're going to build up the values and keep this side darker hmm. um diane says try mixing chromium oxide green it's a good or try chromium oxide green it's a good mixing green and i googled it and it's kind of it gives me um Hooker's Green's warmer, like yellower sister vibes. Huh. It's yeah. a pretty green. I usually just mix it with whatever blue. I usually mix whatever yellow and whatever blue I have because then I have more unity in my palette. Mm -hmm. But I will look for that. There's lots of great colors out there. I wonder if I'm going to want a little, I'm going to grab a little dark. 
I don't know if that was going to be a good move or not a good move. I can really overthink a painting. I love your trees, though. I think I... I, I started these by palette knifing them. That's how I kind of came up with it. Go ahead. I'm sorry. I think I have... I was thinking... Because I swear I have two trees. I think I have a green tree like this. Oh, do you? And then I have that bluey purpley tree that yeah. I really like. That one, it's like nighttime tree. Yeah, I just took my last one to the downtown gallery today when I ran down there. I thought as long as I was going, I might as well just take a few more ornaments. Mm -hmm. I don't know if I like that at all, but. I like it, he looks fluffier. I mean, obviously he's, it's just more filled out, but. Yeah, no, I mean this row right here, I just don't know, but it'll mm. be it'll be fine and I'm gonna put layers on it. And that I would literally be saying that to myself if you guys weren't here. I don't like that, keep going, it's going to be fine. <laughs> Coach myself, because I'm gonna probably do this. Yeah, I like it better already. I'm not liking that. I Your paintings like... are very oniony, very layered. Layered. That's a little better. Oh, let's go a little darker. Add a dirty brush. I always struggle with the bottom of these. Always. And I really like what I did on that one, but I think I still struggled with it. So do we want to make this tree a little wider too, maybe? Hmm. Oops, that's good. I want it to flow a little more. I'm grab a little water. Oh, um, it is 6.32. Oh, okay, yeah. <laughs> I can let this dry. Thank you, I, w I didn't think of it either. I swear, the dark, the dark is getting me. It's, um... I adjusted better than I do in the spring. Good. Uh, we, um, how do you, we do, we change our clocks. Not everybody, I don't know if anybody else in the world does that, or is that a, just a U.S. thing? And so we go from having an hour or two in the evening of sunlight to now it's dark almost. What time, was it dark when you got here, Em? No, but it was getting there. Like it was, the sun was setting. So, so I remember. Had, um, so like a little after five, it was still had some light. When you were packing that, um, the painting up, it you were like, I feel like it. I feel like it was oh, gonna yeah. rain, but it's just getting dark. <laughs> That's right. Oh, I like going this way. They were all kind of. I'm gonna over dab and have to come back and put in some darks. I do that quite a bit. Okay, so now what I'm thinking is, does this tree fill out? I'm going to stop here in a minute, Em. Okay. Does this tree fill out my... I got kind of scared and made it smaller. I'm just gonna make it bigger. Make it chubbier. I really like painting with some piles I can grab and then I can mix from there. I really like that. Um, I don't know if it's that much different. Some artists will just mix you know, have all their colors out and then kind of mix as they go, but they still kind of mix piles. I like them uh, chubbier because then they won't dry out as fast. Of course, if you have a stay wet palette, that might not be an issue. Every tree I do turns out different. Did I get chubbier? I think so. The base definitely looks chubbier yeah. than when I last looked up. Because, I mean, this is a painting of a tree, really. And then this dried lighter than I thought, but we can come back and... Oh, no, that's the other one. <laughs> I 
I forgot I switched because <laughs> I had put in a hint of a tree there. Right, oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> You're like, where'd it go? I'm like, wait a minute. That dried lighter <laughs> than I remembered. I'm like, oh, wait a minute. I switched. I'm kind of, it's, since it's wet, it's kind of getting muddy in spots. Mm -hmm. But that's okay. We can come back. And I think that's going to be chubby enough. As she does a little more. Yeah. <laughs> I think I'm done. Keep adding. <laughs> well, that's where your traceable could help you. You could be a little more precise about it. You get a decent filling out of the tree. I'm going to stop. All right, we're going to stop a minute and thank people. I just wiped off my brush on a, so I wipe it off on a paper towel. Mm -hmm. And then I have two jars of clear water, so there's not much. This is actually my dirty water, but it's barely dirty. But I stuck my brush in a wet, white spot. <laughs> it got, it got, re, re, it got more paint in it. It's kind of defeated the purpose. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, I want to thank Joan W, Rita B, Colton M. Sydney S. and Martin B. for sending money to support the channel for the traceables, um, all those kinds of things. I super appreciate it. It really helps a bunch. I've been buying canvases and paint, and I'm, I'm cranking out paintings a lot lately, so I, I can't thank you guys enough. And then I want to, I think, is Leanne still here? Leanne C. <laughs> bought pumpkin spice, the 12 inch by 12 inch painting where I use some structure gel on the... Uh, flowers and stuff so thank you so much Lee I'll say Leanne C <laughs> it'll um, I made a label and it'll go out tomorrow you should be able to track it tomorrow afternoon need a like a, a joint applause for yeah when you're done <laughs> when you're done with we need your applause things. we need a soundboard yeah we need a soundboard all right so I'm not liking my trees so much well funny you say that because Susie says, love the way you developed your tree. Oh, thank you. Um, you know, I, just, I don't really like them at this stage. It's just how it goes for me. Okay, I'm going to grab a little. I say that not like, oh, please give me sympathy and support. It's just, hey, just so you guys know, that's the thought that runs through my head right now. I don't, and I a lot of times don't like my paintings until at least a day later. All right, so we're going to kind of do this again. I didn't wipe off the water on my brush there. So in theory, if I do this well, you kind of go less mm -hmm. with the next bunch of colors, color. But I will put this color over on the other side. So you can see all the others below, is that why? Yeah, so you kind of get some depth. Although I do, I don't know if you can tell, I do cover it up. Here, I'm going to hold that there for a second for a screenshot. Hopefully it's decently focused. Oh, I was going to hold this up. I need like a stage manager or like you in front of me that's like, hold the painting up. <laughs> yeah, oh, I've got two of the same. Here, we'll do that. We'll just eventually put like a headset on you, and then you can talk to me. I can just yeah, I'll I, I'll have my mic mostly muted, and I'll just have to click it on, so I can just like talk in your ear and be like, move the painting up and <laughs> move it up, <laughs> and I'd say Anne because that's how you know you're like in trouble. Yeah, the government name. I think I could put a little over here. So I, you could do this with a filbert, but I like I like a square because I can dab with the corner. Make little square rectangle strokes. I'm trying to decide if I want a little 
Oh, Leanne's still here. She says, can't wait to get pumpkin spice. Love the tree. Thank you for buying that. When I went to the gallery, the ga gal working there said, I was looking at that. I'm like, it's sold. <laughs> <laughs> Man in a boo-boo. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, I'm, well, actually, I said, I'm, oh, I'm so sorry. It's sold. I'm yeah. Like thinking, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know. I've had several artists buy my work. That's really fun. I really appreciate that. I'm debating if I want. So I don't know if this value is too light over here, so I'm kind of hesitant. I think I'll just stop. I'm going to let that dry a little bit and work on the background a smidge. So I'm cleaning up my brush. I could switch brushes instead of, you know, or have another one about the same size and grab it. Is it the right color? I'm just going to darken this for fun. I use the same palette for both backgrounds, but sometimes you just put it on a little different. It's okay. I make some originals when I sell them. Or, I mean, they are originals when I... Mm -hmm. I, I don't know what... I just put it on a little heavier or something. There must be something in the in the air and the water tonight because we have two people that have come back after being away, being busy for a while. Um, Tammy, I left. I kind of left you out of the chat. <laughs> so, um, uh, Tammy Hooker said hello, strangers, a while ago, and she that she was um, had been away helping her daughter do wedding prep and finally finished everything and got her married off. Ooh, that sounds like work. Yes. Yeah. She and then later on she mentioned that she can't wait to um, craft slash paint for her again. <laughs> oh yeah, I suppose. It, yeah. And then well, congrats on the wedding and great to see you. Yeah. And then Lori says hello. I feel like I've been gone um, so long. Just came home from watching my two month old grandson, oh. and he's such a good baby. Only cries when I'm not getting his milk warmed up fast enough. <laughs> Oh <laughs> Yay! Congrats! Oh, that sounds so sweet. Yeah, congrats. Lots of congrats tonight. I don't know if I like that any better, but I was also just giving my tree a chance to dry. Could grab a little of this color. Oh, another thing I could do. Well, actually, I don't know if I need to clean it. Just kind of thin it out a little bit, and we could, um, you can paint the shadow at any time. A lot of times I wait, because I don't know if I'm done shaping my tree. That's too dark. You're good at the chubby fluff. Because <laughs> that, um, that bird that you showed me today, too, also. Oh, I got another one sitting over here. We had cute chubby fluff. I feel bad if we talk about something and then don't show them. <laughs> like we're, te I don't know, teasing them or being rude. So the question is how far back does your shadow go? Just, I don't know, bring it a little ways. Mm, Tammy says, congrats to y'all for a 6.4K. Definitely growing. Oh, yeah, thank you. We are. Kind of. We grow wobbly. We do <laughs> grow wobbly. Well, I think that's probably normal. Yeah. Yeah. Kind of wobbly it's, growth. It's fun. I mean, we didn't hit five... K all that long ago, and you're already at six. No, it's getting, four. yeah, compared to the, about two years ago when we were doing this seriously, it's like, wow, it's just kind of hard to watch. Mm -hmm. Just don't watch it, because not much happens. <laughs> yeah. Does that look like a shadow? Here, if I grab a little, oops, my off, a little white. One thing I like about the phone is I can see. What was I going to do? Oh, here. Grab a little. I'm just going to scribble it in. There, that'll make the shadow stand out a little bit more. Isn't that fun? Mm hmm. You're laughing. Um, someone's just trying to slip in quietly into the back of the classroom. <laughs> um, Tinker said dot 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 sneaks in late with a little shush emoji. <laughs> it, 
There is no such thing as late. There's a replay. You can back up the live. You know, you can, whatever works for you, you don't know. <laughs> this is a zero pressure, happy art hangout. I'm glad you're here. I like it that you guys are here. It's so much more fun for me. I'm getting, I don't get headaches anymore when I try to talk and paint. <laughs> it's like you guys have been good for me. I've, I'm getting a, a new skill. When I taught, it was like demo and then they would do it. Mm -hmm. And it was watercolor. It wasn't acrylic. Not that there's a ton of difference, but I don't know if I needed to mix this, but I did. So I want it darker than my white. Here, I'm going to squirt a little white over here so I can see the value better. It would be better to have a gray palette. You can see your values a little bit more easily. Yeah, it's darker. All right. Do it again. <laughs> Tinker says, I'm on bed rest. I literally have no excuse not to be on time when it starts. LOL. Blame it on the pregnancy brain. <laughs> Oh, you have all the excuses in the world. Yeah. Pregnancy gives you all the excuses in the world. No worries. I feel like I'm, I'm a person that does the, it's my birthday week, and Chase is sick by the end of the birthday week because he's like, oh, my, how long is the birthday week? It's a week. It's a week. But, I, you know, I say it. It's however many days to my birthday. It's my birthday week. I, I, I could see, like, you know, I'm very well and capable and able and I'm just like oh but I mean if you just got that for me I could see me I like the gravelly whiny voice that's quite skilled <laughs> I can I will probably be annoying him with like <clears throat> oh no just like I dropped that on the floor even though I can pick I guess there could there will probably be a point since I'm short pro there probably will be a point I can't pick something up off the floor when I'm if when if I'm pregnant you know because oh, you, you'll be so round I'm yeah. like you're closer to the floor what do you mean well, but I would be I might not be able to get, I might not be able to like bend over being only five foot one and if I depending on how big baby is yeah I had big babies and I think yeah and Chase at is, five five I had big baby Chase was a big baby Chase's dad was a big baby yeah but you were you are the you your body is the one that's gonna decide that do you know what I mean yeah. Because it's not like your father has a big family. <clears throat> Excuse me, guys. So I'll be using all the pregnancy brain. I decided I don't want to lighten up my sky, and I don't like it. What I did. Oh, sorry. I just crunched some ice. Sorry. I do that. I decide I don't like something, and I get myself in trouble. <laughs> do you guys do that? I don't know why. I just kind of wanted it. I think I need to leave it alone. <laughs> Tammy says, I'm five foot and carried twins. I was rather round. <laughs> oh, yeah. I yeah, I bet there will be a point where okay. shoes will be slip-ons. Maybe, like, you know, or you got to put them on for Are me. Are you hinting at something that mm. I should? No. Okay. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> so I shouldn't, like, get all excited. No. <laughs> and I shouldn't pressure you live. No. <laughs> you just got engaged. No rush. I'm just playing to let my, my tree dry. Can you overdo this? Yes. Do I sometimes? Yes. I have to come back and calm it down. I do this with fur a lot. I'll overdo it. And just pushing some of these back. It doesn't have to be super dry, I just don't want it to blend. I could put a little, I don't know how clean my brush is. How am I doing? 40 minutes left? I'm doing pretty well. I like this. You could do this for a lot of things. You could do this with dirt and grass and have a mountain scene. You could, you could put some greener trees back here. If I put a little green over it, I don't know that it's going to show. 
Well, just a little bit. <laughs> um, Tammy says, congrats on the engagement in parentheses. Finally. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm glad you didn't get engaged at 17. That would have been kind of hard, maybe. I don't know. Maybe not. You're, you've always been sort of an old soul. Am I saying too much tonight, Em? No. I don't even know if I heard what you said, so that's okay. Oh, good. <laughs> so if I embarrassed her, everybody, she doesn't even know. I don't even know. I, I just said no by gut reaction. I don't even know. If, I literally don't know what you said. I said I'm glad you didn't get engaged at 17. Oh, yeah. That would have been Well, I just think fast. it would be hard. Yeah. I got married at 20, and I didn't, I didn't think it was going to be hard. And it's like, oh, I don't know anything at 20. You know? Mm-hmm. But then I also see you're an old soul, so. Yeah. But we also didn't have money. <laughs> so that would have been, you know, all the money we had, I was like, I want a house. I want a house. Yeah. I want a house. A roof over your head is pretty important. Yeah. Um, Kathy said, Not we had to change our clocks back in Ontario, Canada. Okay, oh, I was thinking do it was just us. Uh, I didn't know. Because I know all of our states don't even do it anyway. No. A couple don't. Tinker said, the last pregnancy, I couldn't find the gallon of milk and later realized I put it away in the cabinet. Oh. Well, if you found, if it's still cold, put it back in the fridge. I did that. I did. What did I? I did that recently. I went to put something cold in the cabinet. So I, that's a, um, or I put something that doesn't even go in the fridge in the fridge. Like I went to put away scissor like the kitchen scissors that I cleaned and I went to put them in the fridge or something like that I can't remember but if that's a if that's a sign of what might be to come senility that would be what a what I was calling you senile oh <laughs> I'm just putting a white on and I'm putting less on mm, yeah yeah my brain that might be interesting, because you talk about, um, like, oh, Emily, when I get old, oh, no. You won't know. I won't. Yeah, you won't know. <laughs> I, I flip my words. I say the wrong color on videos. Mm -hmm. I, you know, spelling is, spelling isn't a really, I, think, I don't know, spelling is a sign of. Yeah. I'll just have to be, uh, like, put on a tether so I don't get too lost. Just put me on a kid leash. Mm -hmm. Yeah, put you on a kid leash. I was thinking me and pregnancy brain put me on a oh, kid leash. Put you on a kid leash. Yeah. Lori said, hey, all pregnant women can use the excuse of, I, I can't bend over, pick that up for me, or can you tie my shoes? <laughs> yeah. I remember, I wasn't all, I mean, it wasn't. You remember being pregnant? <laughs> no, but I, do you remember at like. Gramps just went, what? At a family, it, well, at, it was like at Thanksgiving or something like that. It was with your side of the family and. Somebody had made a comment about something and scooping the litter box and, oh, you can't do that when you're pregnant. Yeah, and I was like, some... you can't scoop the litter box when you're pregnant? And then um, Dr. Ant goes, oh, yeah, for X, Y, and Z reason, just rolls out of my mouth. It's like, well, I'm always going to be pregnant then. <laughs> I'm sitting right next to Gramps. I was, and then I, I was mortified, but I don't think he caught no, it. No, well, he might not have heard you. Yeah, I don't think he caught it, but I was mortified. But I it just rolled out of my mouth. He would have loved it. <laughs> he probably should have heard it, you know. Yeah, I was like, if that gets me out of kitty litter box duty, you know, we'll have uh, 35 children. <laughs> Ooh, that sounds like a lot. I think my tree might be just about done. I need to, I'm going to look at the live... I kind of like the little hints of green in the back. I might add that to the... I didn't do it on this one. Um, Diane says, um, I put a bunch of bananas in the bread bin <laughs> to get off the counter, and hubby spent all morning looking for them, even checked the car. <laughs> <laughs> do we have any uh, men males in the chat? They might not appreciate this. Yeah, um, I haven't seen our usual... Our usual crew. Crew. I mean, it's okay. I just wondered. Maybe guys get pregnancy brain, too. Lori says, oh, yeah, I forgot that joy. <laughs> I think in reference to the kitty litter. Yeah, that's the only time I didn't do the kitty litter. I think. 
I think I might, do I, you know what, I think I'm going to do this one a little different. This one I splattered. I just showed it, but I wonder if we should maybe do bigger snowflakes on this one just for variety's sake. Mm-hmm. I think I'll do that. So now what I want to do, we could use Posca pens. So I'm digging for them. My icky rag that I wipe brushes off on. You guys needed to see that. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I'm not sure if I want to use Posca pens or what. This is what I mean by Posca pens. They're acrylic paint pens. They are 0.7 millimeters. Right by my thumb there. Oh, is that how you do the cardinal? Or no? The cardinal. Well, I was going to, well, see, I was thinking if I splatter, I didn't want to do the cardinal. Oh. And if I do the dots, mm -hmm. I can, I'm, I'll do the cardinal because I think I'm going to do the bigger dots. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you did fine splatter last time, even though fine, I think, won <laughs> in the poll. Well, so it that, might be a oh, favorite. Oh, yeah, that was the, um, the reindeer. Mm -hmm. I'm looking for, I'm trying to see past my phone and looking for a little, my new lighter brush. Princeton Round, number one select. It's still, I've used it several times, but it's still feeling new. Yeah, so the cardinal is easy peasy, lemon squeezy, and you don't even have to do. So what I did is like a circle, a line up, and a line over, and then a black. It's hmm. not even that great of a triangle. Mm -hmm. uh, really, the beak would be red, but you see it as cardinal. Um, and this, oh, oh sorry, sorry, one more thing. Yep. Uh, sorry, I just Ooh. happened to think. So this red happens to be opaque, so it's got a little white in it. A lot of times the red I use is transparent, so I you might want to put a little white underneath it. I'm just gonna try the red and see. Okay, I'm done, hun. Oh, um, Laura said. Um, plus, unfortunately, during my chemo they told me not to do that, so my husband is still doing this after 66 years, cancer free. Well, glad you're cancer free. Wow, that's awesome. Yeah, we need um, a soundboard in that's like applause and congrats. Mm -hmm. and that would be fun. Of course, we need to not be streaming from my phone. Yeah, we have a couple more steps before that one. Yeah. That does, like... Well, maybe we could kind of do it on my computer somehow. If you're not supposed to scoop litter box while you're pregnant and you're not... Like, I assume that's due to, like, immunocompromised during... Oh, six years, cancer-free. LOL. Is what Lori says. Six years. Still, congrats. Yes. Um, Who added a six? <laughs> no, she added a six, yeah. Oh, she did? Yeah, it says 66. No, 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 it's Emily's fault, everybody. <laughs> I think you were um, laughing at him. Uh, that frightens me about what's in, like, what's so spooky about the cat litter? There's some like, should I be wearing a gas mask in the cat or to use the... You can probably Google it. I think there's some disease that a lot of cats have or some bacteria, uh, something. It's something. I remember, well, that's what I meant by, like, um, Dr. Ant said why you can't, because it was doctor term, so I have no idea what it actually was. Well, you know I don't remember. Yeah. All right, I think I'm just going to leave that. It's kind of a funny shape, but hopefully you can see it. And then you don't, you could put black out, or you can just use that blackish color for the, the beak. Did you use your new Princeton brushes for your nail art yet, Em? Nope. I just have solid, plain nails because I'm still working through the new colors I got. Oh, I just wonder if you liked it. Oh, I forgot we talked about the bird. So this is posting December 2nd, and there's going to be a traceable for it. A little chickadee snow and some red berries. I love the orange On a broken, berry. yeah, isn't that fun? On mm -hmm. the broken branch. Get well, there. I like that. See, see, I did bigger dots today, so I'm kind of in a bigger dot mood. Mm -hmm. I've got two of them painted and two more I want to get done. Um, Suzanne says, my first pregnancy, I put the phone in the freezer, took it out, took me two days to find it. Oh, yeah, who'd look there? It had about one inch of frost, but was still working. Oh, that's great. I suppose the freezer's pretty dry. Oh, my gosh. I like, I mean. I'm just going to darken my corners down here a little bit. It's probably so annoying like in the moment, but I like the, I like these pregnancy story like the pregnancy brain story <laughs> I don't mind them at all <laughs> well but like if you think about like I would be so annoyed with myself like being like where did I put that oh yeah. like in the moment of it happening but now yeah. it's funny yeah it's not funny in the moment yeah um Susie says love that little cardinal yeah he's so Thank sweet you. you don't just blob him 
Just kind of darkening my corner. Oh, Diane says, it's not the kitty litter, it's the cat poop. Oh, I That's thought it was something about the cat. Um, oh, I'm just adding... Artist of mine has eye problems because she played in a sandbox where cat poop poo was. Oh. oh. I'm just adding contrast here, guys, just to get it to pop more. And I, I'm going to look at the chat to see if it does. Yeah, I like that snow. Yeah, that helps. Yeah, it does help. She says, oops, that happened when she was a kid. She's in her 50s now. Yeah, I assumed it was a childhood shenanigan, not playing in a... I guess that could happen. Like, if you're playing in a sandbox when you're older and you're with, Some with your kid cat. or something, you're yeah. playing with your grandkid or your child in a sandbox. But I just assumed it was childhood. Yeah, I like that better. I can <gasps> darken this one, too. Tinker says, out, gardening outside can have the same problem if a stray cat poops in the garden. Oh. Yep. yep, cats are... What the heck? Oh, yeah. We love... Freckles is sleeping, so she's... Mm -hmm. <laughs> Freckles, we love you. What kind of toxins are they carrying? I don't know. I don't remember. I knew it one time. There's a... There's a... Like a P... I want to say it starts like a PH name for it, but I don't know. Um, Mangda, it's... I, I guess I can attest that it kind of, you know... Sometimes Chase claims that Mang has like coffee poops, you know? People <laughs> say that not everybody gets them, but you know, some people say that coffee causes the poops. So in Mang, sometimes just also kittens, I feel like, have really stinky poops, and Mang never grew out of them. So he always just calls them their Mang's coffee poops. Well, yeah. so I can see why Mang's, Mang's nuclear. So I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. If, <laughs> yeah. So I maybe get the the toxin in mango. She's she must she might have an overload. I forget I could just use a Pasca pen. Easier to control. Mm-hmm. For his little nose. Yeah. And it, I mean you can make it red or something, but I'm just the black just to me says Cardinal. Um, Leanne says, Love that chickadee with two hearts. Oh, thank you. Yeah, that's fun. And um, Bonita, I love how chubby the chickadees are. You know, the reference photo is that I found. Um, I don't have it handy. Yeah. It's over there. But it's like he's, he's snuggled up in the winter, kind of. Yeah, know? I think he's cold. Um, and then Bonita says, love the cardinal with a heart emoji. Thank you. I'm going to mix a little. Oh, my palette knife wasn't clean and it's stuck. I'm going to mix a little. So I'm going to mix some snow color here. I'm going to make it a little bluer. <gasps> Tinker says toxoplasmosis oh, is what it's called. It's not a pH word. Um, Mango's definitely carrying a lot of that, whatever that is. <laughs> I don't actually know. I don't know, but I'm just, I mean. Ugh. Mango's not going to like you when you no, she, She's probably she listening hears, to the live with Chase going, what? She does that. She'll like, um, she'll, <laughs> Chase will, um, sometimes he gets off, or, no, he I don't know if he's done with work before I left, but sometimes he'll, lounge on the couch or wherever in the dark and Mang will like tuck in his legs so she might be hearing me. She might be hearing all this stuff. Slandering her. Yeah. Or exposing her and she's not going to be happy when I get home. No. Mm, Diane says yes be careful when you are pregnant around kitty poo. Yes. Emily is forewarned. Mm -hmm. All right I'm going to see if that blue I wonder if it needs to be a little Darker, because I think that's the blue I've got going on, like right there it is. It'll show there. Maybe we'll go with white first and then figure out how much blue we even need. Mm -hmm. Tammy says the same thing for birds, too. There's like a bird version. Histo Histoplasmosis. Hmm. Did not know that. I didn't know the birds. I, the second I heard the cat poop thing, I committed that to memory. I didn't know it until I was pregnant with Jack. And the doctor told you? Yep. I'm like, huh, not a problem. <laughs> I'll, I'll freely give that duty away. <laughs> it's like, do you have a cat? I'm like, yeah. Yeah. Why? <laughs> Here, I probably should hold it up. I keep forgetting. So I'm dipping the end of my bra, or yeah, my handle into my paint. And then, let's see, where am I going to sign it? I think I'll sign it over there. And if you want a smaller dot, I'm going to wipe some of it off. Um, just lighter touch. Try to 
barely touch it. I kind of like that they stick out. So even when I splatter, I'll put some dots in. Mm. Tammy says, I like that you're using the back of a, the brush. I never would have thought of that. Emily and I learned that when we used to work at a paint your own pottery place here in Omaha. Um, and you'd have kids classes or help kids, you know. I, I didn't know that until I worked there. Did you know that already? Nope. Emily? That's where I learned it. Yeah. It's a neat trick. And mm -hmm. then, you know, you want a bigger dot, you find a bigger handle. Mm-hmm. Ooh, that'd be a monster snowflake. We could do that. Is this one bigger? I'm starting to look. Some of your handles have like scraping in it, which I don't do much because acrylic dries pretty quick. I just threw out three brushes today, Emily. Oh, you oh, did? Here. Art Hugs has a scrapey handle. Did that sting? Where it's down, yeah, it did. You know, where you could write with it or it has a wedge. Mm -hmm. um, but with acrylic, I mean, you could do it in acrylic as long as it's wet. I always think of oil painters doing that more. Uh, Lori says, do, do, dash, T. LOL. I didn't even realize that <laughs> duty, duty, duty. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Thank you for coming to this live where we talked about, or we painted a cardinal in a tree and talked about cat poop. Yeah. <laughs> you could make him a little bigger, even though he probably is already, I don't know if he'd be too big already. Susie says, makes a nice snowflake. Yeah, that's, just, that's kind of a, that's a really good option for someone that doesn't, can't splatter or scared to splatter because of the splatter. Well, the only thing with splatter is then I get to get out my foil, my dumb chocolate <laughs> foil and then make, <laughs> I like that part. Yeah, well, to me, this is really relaxing. I, you can see how, like, when I relax, I paint really slow. And I'm, I'm trying to tell myself if it's everywhere, it's nowhere. If it's everywhere, it's nowhere. I should look at the live. Oh, that's pretty. It's so pretty. It's very pretty. It's pretty colors. I might put a little more red on the cardinal just to lift it up. You could put a little yellow on him if you wanted to warm him up a little. And I like the different size snowflakes. Let's see, I'm going to sign there. i got to remember. Um, so that's not as small as I want. Oh, here. If you don't want to control it so much, then just flip your brush around. Dip it in. You can make little ones. That's really little. My paint's already drying out. The Dang. air popped on him. I can feel it over here. Oh, really? Oh, I guess I hear it. I like. I really. I barely hear it. That may be the last time for the air. Yeah. Till. I um. I can't, I let the heat go down, or like turn the heat down last night to sixty-eight for sleeping, and um, I don't think it ever dropped. I had opened the bedroom window so it would drop faster. Hopefully, but I don't think it ever dropped because when I woke up this morning, it was still 70 degrees. Wow. I think we're going to do some darker blue ones. Yeah, I don't know which tree I like better. Well, right now I like this other tree better here if we want to compare. Um, it's a little darker. Interesting. Same color, same palette. But I'll like this one tomorrow. I just It's just funny. And then splatter versus bigger snow. I like the bright green, yeah. And nice. then that cardinal I painted white first. It's a little lighter. I don't think either one's right or wrong. Just, you know, different taste, different. All right, let's mix, mix a little darker blue here. Ooh, that's getting dry. I'm going to stick my palette knife in a little bit of water. Of course, that works for a little bit, but then the water evaporates more quickly than the medium, so then it can also dry out your paints faster. It's kind of a catch-22. Oh, I've been, I was telling Emily I've been painting little paintings. I'm hunching too much. Susie says, love them both. Thank you. Yeah, I do too. I love, I really love when I work at the gallery or I'm, I happen to be there and they're, you know, I've got two or three of the same tree painting or whatever it is, ornament, and they're like, which one do I like better? Mm-hmm. And then they'll start, I mean, they might not know I'm the artist, and they'll just say, well, this one's got a little, and I'm like, I don't disagree with what they say. I'm like, I do the same thing. I'm not really making that darker. Let's try it one more time. There we go. 
I think we'll maybe just start with little ones with this darker blue. One thing I do like about doing snow this way is you can control it better. If you're like me and like to go slow, take it easy, a little more control. Mm-hmm. Oh, how are you? Because um, we were, I mean, was that yesterday? I don't know. A couple days ago we were talking about how we don't know what to get anybody for Christmas and how I'm stealing your your cuticle oil. Do you have plenty of these? Should I put these on your Christmas oh, I think list? I have almost a whole box. Oh, one. okay. I, I Remind me I can look after the live. Because you also do way better about keeping track of yours than I do. Like, you probably go through a whole one. I think I probably lost three before I ever finished one. Well, you gave me one of yours. Well, maybe. Yeah. Two, also. It smells like lemons. Yeah, is it, it says lemons? on the end of it what it is. I think we might be done. Oh, mango. It does not smell like mango. Oh. <laughs> well, maybe it's because it's old. Is it old and getting stinky? I want to kind of, I want to kind of, what a shoulda. What a shoulda coulda? I'm going to put a little white. So really, he should, like the front of him should be lighter, but he's tucked on the dark side of the tree. You could overthink your light source. I'm just going to kind of lighten him up a little bit. Let that dry for a second. And then I'm going to pull more red on him and see if that does anything. Yeah, somebody messaged me today. One of the people I thanked, and they, I think it was one. No, no, no. Somebody else messaged me today and said that they've been painting the ornaments since I started doing it. So. Oh. That's so cute. This is our third year. Yeah. So it's not, it hasn't been three years. We just started our third year. I'm like, that's so nice. The first year I did eight ornaments. I suppose eventually I won't do as many because I'm going to run out of ideas. Well, <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, I just assume like the Christmas trend will change. You know, like, they'll, like it'll Ooh, be the year of something. Like holly will be big and you'll have to paint a holly or something. Oh, you know? yeah, that's true. There's probably plenty of things. I just get worried. Um, but, like, if you think about it, like, eventually, if they keep doing it, eventually it'll kind of be, like, maybe they would even have a separate little Christmas tree that's just, like, your oh, your snowman ornament or your, your s'more ornaments my... that you collected for years. Yeah. That that's... would be so cute. I should have done that for myself. I don't have any. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I could paint some more. But... Oh, God. <laughs> I'm like, oh, you want to buy that? Sure. Yes. Thank you. Buy it. I can buy more paint. I can make more paintings if you buy that. Um, Diane asks, how big is your canvas? It's a four by four, right? It's a four by four inch canvas. You can find them at Michael's. This one's from U.S. Art Supply. Um, gosh, I, they're close to the same price. I like them, these. Um, I also buy them at Michael's, but these I have to buy 12 at a time. And they're 100% cotton uh, acid free, which I like. So these are more archival. I think, but Michael's might be just as archival and they're just not telling me, you know? Mm -hmm. um, I think Hobby Lobby has these. Oh, probably. Yeah, I think so. I don't shop at Hobby Lobby very often. Uh, Michael's is super close to my house. Was, oh, the Cardinal. I'm like, I was gonna do something and yeah. then we're done. Hobby Lobby's the yarn stop. If we need- Well, they have I'm, art supplies. I just don't seem to- Well, yeah, but that's what we really go to Hobby Lobby for. Oh, yeah. Because if I need yarn, Oh, I don't think that made it any redder. I don't think I got enough <laughs> white on it. Um, Susie says, it's so beautiful with the cat heart eyes emoji. Thank you. Thank a bunch you. of exclamation marks. If you guys have any comments or questions or things you want to say, I'm going to say goodbye in a minute or here or so. That's pretty. Oh, I should probably do a screenshot. I don't know if I've held it up, finished. I like the, also the two color snow. My red hands go blend right in. <laughs> Let's see, I forgot what's next week. I think it's the dove. And I don't know that I have, I have one over there. I think it is the dove. I'll double check mm -hmm. fast. The dove, we, we paint uh, with a yellow, I paint yellow first. And then I'm looking for it. The gold paint is quite transparent. So I do, you paint the yellow first to help it. Oh, this is silver. But it looks like that. The dove is next. 
Does it dove with the gold? Yeah. Here's the gold. Oh, here's the gold. Um, Bonita says, beautiful, great video, ladies, heart. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. The ornaments are fun. And Diane says, thank you for a fun evening. I enjoy your banter <laughs> and the art, too. <laughs> yeah, we're not a quiet art channel. No. Leanne says, thanks. You guys love the tree. I like giving Emily a hard time. She, <laughs> it's not fair because she could get in trouble if she gives me a hard time. Yeah. It's not really fair at all. She does the heavy lifting and gets in trouble. <laughs> all right, guys. I'm going to say goodbye. Thanks so much for hanging out with me. I am smiling from ear to ear. It's just so much fun for me. Super appreciate your support. Oh, I got to get this out because Emily made this for me. <laughs> Great big happy art hugs, and I hope to chat with you soon. Bye, guys.